Two of the most powerful Democrats at both the federal and state levels have joined in, voicing support for the investigation and potentially the resignation of Governor Andrew Cuomo. New York State Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart-Cousin says, quote, every day there is another account that is drawing away from the business of government. We need to govern without daily distraction. For the good of the state, Governor Cuomo must resign. And perhaps New York's most powerful Democrat, U.S. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, says he's satisfied an investigation is underway. Sexual harassment is never acceptable, can never be tolerated. Now, the investigation of these women's allegations, as I said, they're serious. They're being investigated in the very capable hands of the New York State Attorney General. I called for that type of independent investigation, and she is doing it. And I have a lot of faith in her. I believe that she will turn over every stone, and I believe that she will make sure there is no outside interference, political or otherwise. But Senator Schumer didn't address arguably the bigger scandal, the Cuomo administration placing COVID-positive patients back into nursing homes and the cover-up that followed. One of Cuomo's predecessors, three-term Governor George Pataki, says that's the bigger scandal of the two. If this is in fact true, this is one of the most despicable acts I've ever seen in government. The idea that uh, back in June or July, the health department had a clear analysis of the number of deaths as a, as a result of the absurd uh, nursing home policy, over 9,000. And the Cuomo inner circle deliberately changed those numbers and put them out 50 percent less than what was in the health department's analysis. And New York Republicans in Congress, including Elise Stefanik and Lee Zeldin, are demanding Cuomo step down. Zeldin is even considering a bid for governor in 2022. GOP Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, a former New York Assemblywoman during Cuomo's early years as governor, says this is a pattern that's been present since his days as state attorney general. I've called for his resignation for several weeks, uh, going back into last year. I've also called for his resignation back when I was a member of the state assembly, when his reign of terror, <laughs> as I call it, uh, he's acted like a king from day one. He needs to resign before we're, he is forced through an impeachment proceeding, which it looks like he may be heading for. If Congresswoman Tenney is taking things a step further. She tells me, quote, Governor Cuomo has governed sort of like a dictator, unquote. And now Governor Cuomo is saying that he will not resign and that if the New York state legislature wants him out of office, they're going to have to impeach him.